Notice in this example, our function is g of t, so the input is t and the output is g of t. The input is a variable expression, 3x, which means g of 3x will not give us a real value, it'll give us another function. But the process is the same, we're going to substitute 3x for t. So we'll have negative and then 3x squared plus two times 3x minus 12. Well, 3x squared would be 9x squared. Then we want the negative of that or the opposite of that. So we'll have negative 9x squared. This will be plus 6x and then minus 12. We can't combine any of these terms because they're not like terms, so we're actually done. g of 3x is equal to negative 9x squared plus 6x minus 12. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more example. Here we're given the function h of y equals 2y squared minus y plus 7, and we're asked to find h of the quantity m minus 2. So in this case, we'll substitute the quantity m minus 2 for y. So this would give us 2 times the quantity m minus 2 squared minus the quantity m minus 2 plus 7. First, we need to simplify the exponents. So we'll have to multiply m minus two by itself. That would give us two times m minus two times m minus two. Let's go ahead and multiply this out first. We'll have four products, one, two, three, and four. So we'll have two times the quantity m times m is m squared. And then we have m times negative two, that's negative two m. And then we have negative two times m, that's another negative two m. So minus four m, negative two times negative two is plus four. Now we'll clear the parentheses. Here we'll distribute two. And because of the minus sign here, we can think of distributing a negative one. So we would have two m squared minus 8m plus 8. And then we have minus m plus 2. And plus 7. The last step will combine like terms. There's only one m squared term. There are two m terms. Negative 8m minus 1m is negative 9m or minus 9m. And then we have 8 plus 2 plus 7, which is 17. So we found that h of m minus 2 is equal to 2m squared minus 9m plus 17. I hope you found this helpful.